gonna start off by um, naming the characters their default names. No. No. That's wrong. Let's start this over. Right now. Hey guys, Jenny TV here with my next Let's Play because it's a day after Christmas. Well, yeah, because the intro video is uploaded during Christmas. Well, time to make a Let's Play of Twilight Princess because when I started making videos, I made run-throughs and I made a run-through of Twilight Princess and I was like, I, I can make this better, so let's redo this as a Let's Play. Well, okay. Let's start this game, create a, f a save file for the blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm using my Wii for this, not my Wii U, because stuff. And, yeah, I'm just gonna use the default names for these characters. So the main character's name is Link. And we're, we have a horse, its name is Epona. So let's start our adventure. Okay. Change the settings, and uh, I can clearly see these. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Link. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor, but... Would you go in my stead? Or Steed. <laughs> I made that joke before. You have never been to Hyrule, right? In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is a castle town, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world that God's created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. Hey, Link! You there? Nah, I'm not there. Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? Um... Yes, they ain't listening to me lately. That's a problem. Hey, where's Epona? Um, some chick took Epona. Yeah, Epona's over there, but let's start our little adventure, kind of. Hey. Come on now, hurry up and bring Epona with you. Fine. 
Now, now that we have control of Link, here's a few things you can do. The Z button will lock on to things that you can interact with, like things that are enemies, or just talking to people. Of course, the control stick is to walk around. You can use the Wii Remote's pointer. Now, when I did the run-through, I recorded the GameCube version, and one difference is that the GameCube version, or I'd, I should say the Wii version, is a mirror of the GameCube version, since the GameCube version was in development far longer. It's just that it was taking so long that they decided to why not make a port for the Wii. And now we can also pick up rocks by throwing the A button. What I just picked up there was a rupee. It's the currency of the game. Now, one reason why I decided to make a let's play of this, since I already did a run through, is because I I know how to edit videos better now. So, and when I did the run through, I really didn't know that much about editing. So it's like, okay, let's do this. But yeah, this is where Epona is at. Ooh, there's a n nice little uh, rainbow here. You can use the C button to go into a first person view. Very interesting. Oh, hi, Link. I washed the opponent for you. Oh, thanks. That's a very nice thing to do, but you should have asked first. And Link is just gonna stare absentmindedly because he can't speak. Poor, fo uh, poor fellow. Okay. So, just talk to this person. This is Ilya. Nipona is a girl too, so you have to treat her nice like one. Oh, but listen, Link, could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Nipona likes? Um, sure. It's this grass here, it's horse grass, and it's conspicuously shaped like a horseshoe. Well, let's play it and have references to older games. And that's gonna call the Pona towards us. It's such a nice melody. The Pona looks happy. Well, she's all prettied up now, so I suppose you can ride her back. But don't you make her do too much, okay? Um... Okay. Now that we have control of Epona here... If we press A... We can go faster. We can press A... Up to six times, which is the number of spurs down there. Until Epona has to recharge her speed up time thingy. But... Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to get used to the Wii version because, of course, it's mirrored from the GameCube and I have more experience with the GameCube version. But this is gonna be fun. I'm really looking forward to this because Twilight Princess, although it's not my favorite Zelda game, it's up there. And now we're in Ordon Village. Nice little place. And that. That person there is Russell, we were talking to him earlier at the beginning of the game. And that's Mayor Bo. Okay. Ooh, let's talk to this person. This is... Ah, oh, if it isn't Young Link. Are you going to close down the ranch for the day? Yep. This family owns a shop. We'll be able to get some stuff there. I'm sure you know all about the mischievous monkeys that have been coming into the village lately. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, can't catch a monkey. Okay. And here's Russell's... Stupid horse. Here's Russell's family. If I can talk to them. Oh, hi, Link. Now that's Colin, their son. I'm making you a fishing rod, you know. Ooh, that sounds nice. Oh, he's gonna paint it before he can give it to us. Okay. Russell's busy swinging his sword around like a crazy guy. My son called. Yeah, we were just told that. And that's their wife, Uli. She's pregnant. Okay. 
Hold up. Let, let me get off. You can also press A to roll around. And I think it makes you go faster. And I... You'll, you'll see me rolling around a lot. Oh, Link. Looks like you're going to help Fado. Good job. Okay. Yep. So, let's just hop on my horsey horse. Can't really go faster here because we're in a town. So, Epona won't go fast. And now we're at the ranch. Ooh, Ordon Goats. Okay, let's talk to Fado. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Link. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to... Uh, okay. We're gonna have to herd these goats in, so... It's real easy. Much obliged there, bud. Okay, then go on and herd all these little scams into the barn for me. Okay. All we need to do is just go behind these goats, press... A to whoop them, which is going to scare them into the barn, or scare them in whatever direction they're going. Now, sometimes these goats will get mad and charge at you, but it's not too much of a problem. Oh, stupid goats. Okay, that's two in, and all that's left are these last two. Oh yeah, another reason why I'm LPing the Wii version is because the Wii version is in 16-9 aspect ratio, so it'll be, it'll look a lot nicer. Okay, that's nine goats. Okay, this last stupid one. And, okay. Get in. Really easy. Okay. So, I'm just gonna relax and... We can practice jumping fences now. So, this is gonna be really handy to do. Okay. Now, to charge into fences, just go really fast towards them and Epona's gonna jump towards them. And we actually need to do this to leave this place. We need to jump o over the gate. Okay, one more round. Because I need to charge up these spurs. Okay, that's better. And let's leave. Just like that. And I'm gonna save. Well, I'll end it off right here, so... Uh, See you guys next time for some more Twilight Princess. And the second episode is going to have commentary this time. Yeah, later.